Hello, YouTube. It's good to be making some videos. I just want to give my thoughts <clears throat> about the Ohio derailment. If you guys haven't did some research on it, man, um, it happened in, in a small town in Ohio, East Palestine. And, um, you know, a lot of the people, the residents there, they evacuated, um, you know, fortunately, but still, um, it was still some lingering dangers there. Now, it was some vinyl chloride, I think some other hazardous chemicals that happened to be inside their water supply you know due to the train wreck and you know i was looking you know when i was reading one of the testimonies from the residents they were stating that well you know my husband and my my daughter you know they were showering and they was developing these rashes here and that's what happened that can happen when your water is contaminated then you got some people too i'm not sure if it's like a, a lower middle class area or middle class or just a rural area just a small town uh, a lot of people some people couldn't afford to actually move and evacuate to another area or a town, you know, due to their safety. So they just have to deal with it, um, unfortunately. But we have great Samaritans and people around the community because, I mean, this was national news for a moment. But I don't hear too many people, like, talking about it too much, you know, unless you have some related content on TikTok about it. And the algorithms can go in there and uh, fit you to other individuals that's talking about it. But, I mean, it was kind of... It was kind of sad, man, in a way, because it reminds me of the Flint water crisis, you know, that's still going on, you know, under uh, Governor Rick Snyder at the time. You know, he wants to save some money, and even though he knew that the pipes were had lead in it and it was a neurotoxin to many individuals, man. It's kind of scarred a lot of these people up for life. And Flint, it's uh, it's like a poor city, man. It's not a really a good, um, I think it was like 68% black, maybe 70% black, but it was just like a lower middle class type of um, area, man. And I'm just thinking, like, why is these type of disasters happen in middle class or lower middle class areas i mean even if it happened in the rich elite areas they would have immediately fixed it i mean plus two they have access and more resources and like the government would care more to go ahead and like hey you guys gonna be evacuated to a safe area we're gonna pay for you i mean you can look at the norfolk southern company they had one of those officials there they generated like 10.2 billion dollars when i was reading from the guardian okay doing this whole uh, derailment and I'm looking like, you know, what, like, they had stock, like, b stock um, backpacks, buybacks for, like, uh, $4.2 million, and I'm just like, dang, man, like, this is crazy, and so, it's, it's one of those things, man, you know, I was praying for them, you know, for the, um, the people there, you know, that's going through that, man, because, I mean, your water, that's all you have, man, I mean, you, you wash with it, you bathe with it, you, you cook with it, you know, so, I mean, that's, that's extremely serious, but we had people coming in, I think people from different church services and different charity services, they was, you know, shipping in with semi-trucks, a whole bunch of bottled waters, but some people was actually giving, you know, um, distrusting the government because one thing the government was telling them, according to East Palestine, like, hey, it's okay to go outside and, you know, it's, well, it's not okay to go outside or whatever, the air is fine, or they saying, hey, you know, your water is safe, but make sure you have a bottle of water. And this was according to Chris Wallace. And he was like, man, forget like what this government here is doing. Like you paying all these taxes, but it just seems like when shit happens or hits the fan, nobody gets their back. And that's what the frustration that's coming on along here. Um, I think this is, like I said, this is real serious. It really is. Um, it was like a fireball explosion. Um, you had an individual from Rhode Island. He said, uh, I think after when that happened, he was like, okay, well, because Rhode Island ain't too far from Ohio. But he was just saying like, man, you know, when it was like raining or whatever, it didn't, it smelled like, uh, a odor like some chemical odor something that you when you open up the hood of your car the engine exhausts like you was kind of smelling that he said it wasn't just regular rain so some of that air was polluted but the thing is though um only thing we can do is that you know we spray that the families they can be financially stable a little bit enough until they actually fix this creek um you know fix the water supply whatever they're evacuated to a, a nearby town that has fresh water they're going to stay there until a moment's time and it's going to be unfortunate too because you have some people i think it was one lady she wanted to sell her home and she was waiting for the price to go up a little bit more so she can live near her granddaughter and um unfortunately because of this incident no the property value has derailed like, the property value is definitely decreased so it's not going to be um yeah it's no one is not it's gonna be hard to sell that you know in this uh, fortunate circumstance so it kind of derailed their plans and um you know that's the, that's the caveat behind this man you know uh, kids got to go to a different school maybe or they gotta live a little bit further from their school so they got to think about how do i have enough 
money or funds to transport my child to a different school so they can further education i mean this is a big inconvenience here and so i'm just giving my thoughts on here man um you know if you guys you know of reading about the story here about the ohio derailment you guys let me know i think it was another situation that happened in detroit i gotta do some more research on that but um we just have to see what's going to happen uh, i'm gonna do some more research if we get if i get any more updated information i'm gonna definitely cam up and talk about it but this is my thoughts and my thoughts and prayers to the families here in uh east palestine ohio because it can happen anywhere it's just unfortunate like you man you just wish that the people the higher ups that have the money and the funds will actually take care of you i just feel like you know if they generate north north or so uh southern officials to generate all that money man they should they have well enough funds to go ahead like hey we're just going to give you guys a temporary housing until we fix this issue i understand mistakes happens but <laughs> lies are at stake you know i mean you don't want to be showering and chemical odor things that can uh, potentially uh, destroy your health you know for for a very long time so that's just my thoughts on it man i mean if cnn if anything you know i want I don't think they don't want to cause a panic, but I believe this is something like really deep. So, but we have to really see, man, what's going to happen. So, um, my prayers to the East Palestine uh, people, um, people who's operating the train, like for real, seriously. So, hopefully, this this type of stuff don't happen again. And um, just the government have their best interests at hand. That's the only thing we can do, and just do our parts as citizens. Like, hey, man, and this is one of the thing too. You know, I just want to kind of inspires me to do great things because you know if you be in a situation where you have a lot of money and this is what the lord will bless you you can go ahead and bless other people in unfortunate circumstances like hey you know i got a bunch of homes here or i can give you some funds here where you can you know you can stay in this type of apartment complex here yeah you might have to change schools change careers a little bit but in the meantime you know your health is important you have that option here to stay here rent free I don't know, man. So, but we have to see, man. So, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. It's your boy Elite Jr. here. I'm not gonna draw this video too long. Just my thoughts on the Ohio derailment. Tell me what you think, man. I love you guys. I'm out. Deuces.